welcome back to biology class in the previous classes we discussed the importance of a root system and the two conducting tissues xylem and phloem and we also know that the root hair present on the roots absorb the water and minerals from the soil and this absorbed water is transported by the xylem to all the parts of the plant in today's class let's see how this water is absorbed and with the help of which processes water is conducted through the xylem water and absorbed minerals are transported in the form of sap the sap moves in an upward direction against the gravity to reach the leaves of the plants this upward movement of sap that is from the root to the crown of the plant is called ascent of sap or translocation of sap ascent of sap takes place through complex tissue xylem most important forces for the ascent of sap are root pressure capillary action and transpiration let us understand them one by one root pressure is a system that allows water to move out of the soil and into the plant minerals are pumped by active transport using atp into vascular tissue then more and more water follows the minerals by the process of osmosis and this produces a pressure on the roots because the roots don't expand and this exerts pressure on the water to move forward look at the diagram to understand how water reaches the xylem vessels because of the root pressure water is absorbed into the root hair cell from the soil and then across cortex cells and phloem it reaches into xylem vessels and from there on it moves upwards once the water reaches the xylem tissue along with root pressure the capillary action then further pushes the water up the narrow tubes of xylem this rising of water through the narrow tubes of xylem is called capillary action the factors that are responsible for ascent of sap here are cohesion and adhesion cohesion is the mutual attraction between water molecules and adhesion is the attraction of water molecules to the surface means to the surface of elements of xylem here and these two properties of water molecules help to form an unbroken continuous water column in the xylem and help the water to rise up through the narrow tubes of xylem third important force for the ascent of sap is transpirational pull which is caused due to transpiration and what is transpiration as all of you know it is the loss of water from the plant in the form of water vapors transpiration directly stimulates the absorption of water from the soil and exerts a negative pressure means suction pressure which pulls water upwards in xylem this is called transpirational pull the following video will help you in understanding the ascent of sap plants absorb water from the soil through their roots thereafter the water needs to be transported upwards to the other parts of the plant as well this upward movement of water is called the ascent of sap the sap contains dissolved minerals and water scientists have proposed various theories to explain the mechanism of the ascent of sap from root to leaves the root pressure theory explains the root pressure with which the water is pushed up by the xylem of the roots although the root pressure does exist and facilitates the flow of water till a short distance 
it cannot support the ascent of sap in trees. The most accepted theory that explains ascent of sap in all types of plants is transpiration pull theory. The leaves lose water and indirectly generate a pulling force or tension for the water in the mesophyll cells of the leaves. This force is called the transpiration pull. Eventually, due to transpiration pull, the amount of water lost by plants during transpiration is replenished by an equal amount of water that is absorbed by the roots and transported up to the stem. Along with water, minerals are also transported in the sap. The process begins in leaves, which are the site of transpiration. The concentration of water vapor in the atmosphere is lower than that in the intercellular spaces of the leaf. Due to this difference, through the stomata, the water vapor diffuses from the intercellular spaces to the outside air. This process is known as transpiration. However, within the leaf blade, the water from the moist walls of the mesophyll cells enters the intercellular spaces. As the transpiration of water continues, the water vapor diffuses outside from the intercellular space through the stomata. Consequently, the mesophyll cells which surround the intercellular space generate the void for water around them and thus increase the tension in these cells. The resulting tension in the mesophyll cells draws water from the xylem of the nearest vein into the intercellular space surrounding them. The removal of water from the veins in turn establishes tension on the entire water column within the xylem so that water is drawn upwards all the way from the roots to the leaf. Water is pulled upwards through the xylem because of the cohesion of the water molecules. Cohesion is the tendency of the water molecules to stick to one another by hydrogen bonding. Within the xylem, the integrity of the water column is also maintained by the adhesion of water to the xylem walls. Xylem vessels make a column of the narrow tubes. These tubes have greater tension. Thus, the water column can withstand them without breaking. At each step of the ascent of sap, the water moves passively, requiring no expenditure of energy on the part of the plant. So students, in today's class, we discussed ascent of sap, root pressure, capillary action and transpiration. Students, when you drink milk or any cold drink with the help of a straw, which action takes place? Think and let me know in the class. Thank you and take care of yourself.